So not only do we have eyewitness testimony and embarrassing testimony, we also have excruciating testimony. What does that mean, excruciating testimony? I want you to ask yourself this question. What did it cost the disciples to hold to their beliefs? And the answer to that question is it cost them everything. In fact, they were willing to suffer to the point of death for the truth of their beliefs. Um, Church tradition tells us that Peter and Andrew and Philip, they were all crucified. Uh, We know that Bartholomew was filleted to death. We know James was beheaded. Matthias was stoned. Matthew was was killed by the sword. Thomas was stabbed with a spear. Luke was hanged. Mark was dragged to death by a horse, behind a horse. Paul, he was beheaded. And of course, John, he died in exile. There's not one record of any of these men recanting for their beliefs, okay? We need to ask ourselves, what more could these men do to communicate that they cared about truth? I mean, they were willing to die for the truth. And that's why uh, Christian philosopher Peter Kraft, I like the way he puts this. He says, why would the apostles lie? I mean, why would they lie? If they lied, what was their motive? I mean, what did, they, what did they get out of it? What they got out of it was misunderstanding, rejection, persecution, torture, and finally martyrdom. Hardly a list of perks, okay? And so you're not going to make this stuff up and, and receive all this. No, that's, that's, that doesn't make any sense. At Stand to Reason, we help Christians think clearly as they share their worldview with others. If you want to see more videos like this, click the subscribe button.